Right, so in the last lecture, we talked about uh, dictionaries. We learned how dictionaries work, a very basic introduction on how we can use dictionaries. In this lecture, I'll just show you some basic functions that are used with dictionaries. Um, len, delete, um, keys, values, etc. that you can use to get some specific data out of your dictionary. Let's get started. The first functions that I want to talk about are dealing with deletion. Suppose we have a dictionary and I'm going to go ahead and create again a student's dictionary and I'll be quick. Okay, so Jobs, I guess Steve Jobs, his age is 15 um, Mark his age is 24 and let's create one more His uh, his name is Alvi and his age is 14 so I've created a very simple student's dictionary and you should do so as well if you have not deleted the previous lectures one. And here are the few functions I'm going to show you. So the first function here is going to be our deletion. So let's say I have this fantastic student's dictionary and then I realized, hey, I don't need this student's dictionary anymore. How do I clear all the values in the dictionary? Well, for that, it's quite simple. Students dot clear and two brackets, the parentheses, normal brackets. Once you do that, students, if you now print it out, is empty because we have cleared everything in our dictionary. Next, now we have an empty dictionary. Why are we even keeping this dictionary? Let's go ahead and completely delete it. How do we do that? So we've completely cleared our dictionary. We now have a dictionary that is completely empty. How do I just delete it? I don't want it anymore. So the way you do that is using the del command. It's going to be del and then students. So now if I print out students, I get an error name students is not defined. So this is basically how you would clear and delete your dictionary. Next. So just like we talked about in arrays, you can find out the length of your dictionary using our len function. So if I type in len students, we will now realize, hey, there are three key value pairs in my student's dictionary. One, two, three, quite simple. And after that, let's say I want to find out what are all my keys and what are all my values. I don't care about these pairs. I want them separate. So if you want to find out what are all my keys, you're going to use a function students dot and you can go down and do keys. So you need to add the brackets after that so student dot keys. And it now gives us dict keys, mark, jobs, alvi. So these are the three, um, what would you say, keys of our dictionary. Now, if I wanted to get the values, I'd use the function student.values. Sorry, student.students.values, my bad. And we now get 24, 15, 14. On another hand, I would just like to tell you, as you can see, our dictionary was jobs mark avi, but it printed out mark jobs avi. So mark and jobs got switched. And this is the thing with dictionaries. It's an unordered object. This is key. So if you keep on printing out a dictionary, you will get a different result most of the time. It's not ordered. So if I said students give me the first value, it doesn't work like that. It's an unordered dictionary, meaning there is no indexing of the objects. It's completely random. All right. Now, before I end this lecture, let's go over um, another one or two functions. Uh, one last one I want to go over actually is let's create another dictionary here. I'm going to go down to students. Let me call this students two and change up um, some of the keys over here. All right. So job mar of, and it's the same keys. And let's say I wanted to add student two's um, values to my student's dictionary. Well, one way you can do that is using the update function. So I could say students dot update, and then I can update it with students twos. Um, whoops, student. Yeah, that's spelled right. Student twos uh, values and keys. So if I now call this function students are update students two, and I now print out students, I now see mar mark of job jobs avi. So I've literally added all the value pairs or the key pair key value pairs of students two to students. So that's one way to add dictionaries. Again, there's probably other ways, but this is a simple function to do it. So these are the quite main functions that we'll ever use or in this course with Python, the len function, deleting and clearing of a dictionary, getting the keys and the values and updating one dictionary to another. 
So hopefully you understood everything that's going on. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever in the previous few lectures, or if you're not understanding, well, what is a dictionary? Why is it update? Or what is student stock keys? Please um, leave a question and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now in the next lecture, what we're gonna do is we'll talk about tuples. So tuples again is another data type that's been introduced in the Python, which is not in most programming languages, I believe. But let's definitely take a look at tuples and see what they can give us. All right. See you then.